we're driving a current model VF Series 2 Commodore, like SSV Redline. So pretty much the last offering from GM uh, of their Commodore range wagon, which is a uh, highly desirable. Wagons seem to have uh, come back in vogue. But this particular car is owned by a really good friend of ours and our media guy, Rob from uh, Fuzzy Media, which uh, who himself and his brothers are absolute car nuts. So uh, even though they're not in the car game, but they actually uh, have a really good understanding of high performance cars and always have been around high performance cars. So these guys are ideal. Know a little bit about cars, but understand, don't understand everything about cars, but just want their cars to sound good and, and run really good. So this particular car we're talking about today, VF Series 2 automatic, six speed automatic, 6.2 engine. Uh, so Holden really for their last hurrah have done a fantastic job in their late last offering, um, pretty much this car has a hamburger with a lot. So this particular vehicle, we started off, the usual trend that always happens with modifying cars, you start off with just the basics, you know, um, a cold air intake and a bit of an exhaust and, and a recalibration of the ECU. And uh, you know, you get the usual, oh, that's great, no, no, that'll see me through. But you just know in the back of your mind, yeah, everybody wants more. Initially with Rob, we uh, did a uh, cold air intake and a recalibration of the car and uh, it picked up its regulation 25-30 kilowatts at the, uh, at the rear wheels. So then we went to the next step like, like everybody does and we go for the exhaust system. So full exhaust system from front to back. So the exhaust system on this particular vehicle, we use the DeFilippo exhaust system which is Australian made. Darren DeFilippo has been around the game for a long, long time. It's quite a... Um, uh, quite respected in the exhaust industry. So we fitted the um, the four into one um, headers, you know, slash extractors, high flow cats. This particular car, because of Robbie's a bit of a sort of petrol head, it has a, a twin three inch system. On a wagon, we don't normally recommend that because you do get a little bit of drone with the wagon. That doesn't, doesn't matter which exhaust system you have on the market, it does tend to drone a touch. Having said that, this car here, it um, it sounds fantastic. It actually doesn't drone too much, or, or acceptable for Rob. And some people can put up with it. Some people can't. So when it comes to a wagon, we always tend to sort of tend to tell people, you know, two and a half inch is probably the way to go. That was that. So exhaust system, so intake, calibration, exhaust. So we, you know, the usual steps that uh, people take. And again, Robert being Rob, he uh, said, "Oh, what's our next option?" So your other your other option is supercharger. So we haven't got to that point yet, we might get to that. And the other you know, big favourite at the moment is a um, high lift camshaft. So basically what we're doing with the high lift camshaft, you open the inlet valve more, so letting more air in, and obviously changing the profile of the exhaust um, side of things, and letting it out at a different stage, you know, at a different point in time. So what does that mean in easy, simple terms? I can sit here and babble on about it. You're going to get more power, more talk, and also to, to you have you know to, as a bonus you have a nice lumpy idle. So um, and that's pretty much what Rob wanted. There's plenty of pluses with camshaft, and I also have to cover the negatives as well. One of the negatives, the biggest negative, is if it's been an automatic transmission. You cannot go too big in the camshaft or the lobe separation of the camshaft, like a really lumpy cam you'll see, without having to fit a high stall converter. We decided, okay, let's design some camshafts that, you know, with the transmission, you don't have to, you, we've sort of taken it right to that point where you don't need a high stall converter.
so this makes just on 300 kilowatts thereabouts and again with horsepower figures like anything they all vary different dynos engines they all vary but you know it's safe to say this makes just under or just on on 300 kilowatts and believe it or not the drone is actually not too bad at all being a station wagon but i just did notice in the back he does have a bit of stuff in there so it probably muffles a bit of the a bit of the droning but um it, ju it just behaves nicer like i'm just sitting here it's not pushing it definitely uh doesn't push at all and what i mean by that is sometimes with these camshafts that don't have high stall converters they're right on the edge of just pushing so you have to bring the idle up and it just pushes too much and again some people can handle it some people cannot personally me i this to me is the cam of choice it just behaves beautifully and i'll just push the foot down a touch and it just drops a gear drops another gear and look at that it just pulls nicely and again that's not you know really pushing the pedal right down to the floor that's just easing the throttle on on that subject of you know camshaft selections you know um we do i think from memory last count there's over 20 25 you know grinds so i guess we feel um that we have a grind to suit any application whether it be naturally aspirated like this whether it be a supercharge application um, because all camshafts need to be tailor made or tailor fitted to suit your needs so i guess in sort of closing great little camshaft definitely works well and it honestly this thing just drives like it uh, like standard it really does a good little camshaft and, and a good power increase and um yeah i uh, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't hate driving this thing around all the time, that's for sure.